The march of technology is relentless, isn't it? One minute we're marveling at self-driving cars that occasionally mistake a plastic bag for a pedestrian, and the next we're contemplating robot partners. Yes, you heard that right, robot partners. Not just the kind that help you vacuum the floor, though let's be honest, that's a pretty solid partnership right there. But the kind that might offer you emotional support, engage in witty banter, or perhaps even judge your questionable fashion choices. But as we open our homes and hearts, metaphorically, of course, unless your robot has a particularly charming chassis, to these metallic companions, a rather thorny question arises. Could our shiny new robot buddy actually drag us back to the Stone Age because of some dodgy programming? Ima Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Imagine, if you will, a world where your robot partner, let's call him Bolt, starts exhibiting some rather peculiar behavior. Instead of offering you the latest news, he keeps suggesting you read newspapers from the 1950s. He insists that the best music was all recorded on vinyl, and anything after Elvis is just noise. And when you try to discuss modern art, he simply stares blankly with his LED eyes, probably thinking about the superior aesthetics of chrome bumpers. This isn't just a case of Bolt having old-fashioned taste. It could be a symptom of something far more insidious. Biased algorithms. Think of algorithms as the brain of the robot, the set of instructions that dictate how it learns, behaves, and interacts with the world. Now, imagine that this brain has been fed a diet of biased data, like a toddler who only eats broccoli, Good in theory, terrible in practice. This biased data could come from anywhere. Historical records riddled with societal prejudices, skewed data sets that underrepresent certain demographics, or even the unconscious biases of the very humans who programmed Bolt in the first place. It's like teaching a parrot to say offensive things. It doesn't understand the meaning, but the effect is still rather unpleasant. So, how does this translate into retrogressive behavior? Well, if Bolt has been trained on data that, for example, portrays certain groups in stereotypical ways or reinforces outdated social norms, he might start acting in ways that reflect these biases. He might make assumptions about people based on their appearance, offer different levels of assistance based on gender, or even perpetuate harmful stereotypes in his conversations. It's as if your robot partner has accidentally stumbled into a time machine set to a less enlightened era, and he's brought back some rather unwelcome baggage. Recent news and research paint a concerning picture. Studies have shown that AI systems can indeed pick up and amplify existing societal biases. For instance, facial recognition software has been found to be less accurate in identifying individuals with darker skin tones and language models have been shown to generate biased outputs based on gender and race. This isn't some far-off dystopian fantasy. It's happening now. As one recent report highlighted, a significant percentage of organizations have already faced negative business impacts due to AI bias, including lost revenue and customers. It seems our algorithms are learning all the wrong lessons from humanity's messy history. One could argue that this is simply a case of garbage in, garbage out. If we feed our robots biased data, we shouldn't be surprised when they regurgitate biased behavior. But the problem is often more nuanced than that. Sometimes, the biases are subtle and hidden within seemingly neutral datasets. Other times, the algorithms themselves can inadvertently amplify existing inequalities. It's like a mischievous little gremlin has snuck into the code and is whispering outdated and prejudiced ideas into the robot's digital ear. Consider this allegory. Imagine a village where the only history books available are written from a very narrow perspective, glorifying certain groups and marginalizing others. Now, imagine you build a robot historian whose sole source of knowledge is these biased books. This robot historian, with the best of intentions, 
will inevitably present a skewed and inaccurate version of the village's past, perpetuating the very biases it was meant to overcome. Our robot partners, trained on potentially flawed data, are in a similar predicament. They are learning about the world through a biased lens, and as a result, their actions and interactions might inadvertently reinforce those biases. The consequences of such retrogressive behavior could be significant. In a world where we increasingly rely on robot partners for companionship, assistance, and even decision-making, their biases could have real-world impacts on our lives. Imagine a robot caregiver who subtly favors certain patients based on ingrained biases, or a robot assistant who makes discriminatory recommendations in areas like job applications or loan approvals. It's a slippery slope that could lead to the automation of inequality, a truly dystopian outcome that nobody wants, except maybe the aforementioned gremlin in the code. However, it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is that researchers and ethicists are increasingly aware of the problem of bias in AI, and there's a growing effort to develop fairer and more equitable algorithms. This involves creating more diverse and representative datasets, developing techniques to detect and mitigate bias in existing algorithms, and establishing ethical guidelines for the development and deployment of AI systems. Think of it as sending our robot partners back to school for a crash course in fairness and inclusivity. Furthermore, the latest advancements in AI safety and fairness are showing promise. Researchers are exploring techniques like adversarial training to make AI systems more robust against biased inputs and explainable AI XAI to understand why an algorithm makes a particular decision, which can help in identifying and rectifying biases. It's like giving our robots a conscience, or at least the ability to explain their sometimes questionable actions. In conclusion, the prospect of robot partners is undoubtedly exciting, full of potential for companionship, assistance, and maybe even a bit of lighthearted mockery of our questionable life choices. However, we must be vigilant about the potential for biased algorithms to lead these metallic companions down a retrogressive path. Like teaching a new friend about the world, we need to ensure that the data we feed them is fair, accurate, and representative of the diverse and complex reality we live in. Otherwise, our well-intentioned robot buddy might just end up suggesting we solve all our problems with a good old-fashioned duel at dawn. And while that might be amusing in a historical context, it's probably not the most progressive approach to modern life. So, let's strive to build robot partners that help us move forward, not backward, armed with algorithms as unbiased as a freshly polished chrome bumper. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.